Welcome to the Salty Spittoon, how tough are you? How tough am I? How tough am I? I want to ask Reddit thread about things you should never Google. Yeah, so? I Googled them. Uh, right this way, sorry to keep you waiting. As a channel dedicated to the grimmer side of the internet, I'm always looking for new material to comment on. Unfortunately, these days, uh, new material's a little bit scarce to come by. You know, the, the banning of r underscore enough internet, the banning of r underscore watch people die, it, uh, Reddit's not doing me any favors. I like to claim this is why I never upload. Um, the truth is I'm lazy as fuck, that's why. That is, Reddit was not doing me any favors until they blew this thing up to the front page. What things should people never Google? And you know, it's like pretty much one of those threads where people are like, yeah, yeah, no, no, don't, don't, don't worry, I'm not gonna Google it. <laughs> Why would I Google that? Don't be silly, I'm not gonna Google it. So I heard you girls like bad boys, right? <laughs> well, I'm just saying, I'm about to get a list of things I'm told not to Google. Guess what I'm about to do? I Google them. Ladies, 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 please, please unsoak your panties. Uh, we have a not safe for work tag, but no serious tag, so let's see just how legitimate these fucking answers really are. Anything related to a crime you're about to commit? Well, I, <laughs> I think that answers that. <laughs> yeah, no, but I mean, honestly, though, this is good advice. I mean, what sort of fucking idiot would fucking go on Google, not in incognito mode, and just fucking look up the crimes they're about to commit? I mean, you're pretty much letting off a red light, a beacon, for the FBI to come get you. What sort of fucking idiot would do that? And then the first comment is, how did Jay walk? <laughs> Basically what you do is, you put your feet in the curb, right next to the street, and then you put your right foot down on the street, and then you put your left foot down one step in front of your right foot on the street, and then, it, no, 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 FBI, FBI, no, it was a joke, FBI, no, 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 no! Actually, here's a good piece of advice, suggestion, if you're worried about seeing images, use Urban Dictionary. I, as someone who's forced to blur every graphic image that I see for the video, am very worried about seeing this sort of stuff. So, what I'm gonna do, new tab, say I want to know what an Alabama Hot Pocket is, right? I'm very, very curious. I, I assume it probably has something to do with brothers and sisters, but, I don't know. So, Alabama Hot Pocket, I'm worried, right? I don't want to see the image. It could be scarring. Let me go Urban Dictionary, and we just type this in. Boom. We're gonna get a nice little definition right here. Alabama Hot Pocket. A sex move where one shits into the woman's vagina. I don't... No, I don't think that's what it is, is it? Art of separating... Just taking a shit inside. Oh, I... Apparently it is. I, I don't know. I think I might have been confused. I thought I thought you shit inside like a circular object and then took the circular object and use like where, you, you know, you have like the blowgun where you have it put a dart inside the blowgun and then you you do that except with the shit and you put it inside the woman's vagina and then you blow the shit within the woman's vagina. I, I don't know. It's been a while. I think it was like high school when I searched it last. So it's been a little while. And if you're confused, if you're like, how is it pronounced? Ow, ow, ow. Alabam, Al Alabama. You can just click on this little sound icon right here and. What? <laughs> what? What? Hmm. There you go. Thank you, Dolly Parton, for enlightening us to its pronunciation. <laughs> There was this band from Indonesia a few years back, I don't know if they're still around. They're a hardcore punk band, and they're named after a song called Under 18 by classic NYC hardcore band called Warzone, a song about shows being for, uh, all ages and generally inclusive. That's definitely a run-on sentence. My friend was over at my place, and I played them for him. He decided to Google them for more information. He searched Under 18 <laughs> Indonesian Hardcore. <laughs> On my computer, I'm definitely on a list somewhere because of him. What can I say except he should have seen it coming? I, I thought he was gonna say, what can I say except you're welcome? When you're trying to look up some stupid as shit punk band, but some good ass porn pops up instead. What can I say except you're welcome? Mr. Hands. I, I don't get it. It's just hands. How can it be that bad? Just a guy with a last name. Oh my god. No, guys, obviously I'm kidding. I know who Mr. Hands is. And I'm a big fan. No, but like, I I'm a really big fan. Almost as big as the horse cock that- Okay, that's enough. One of the comments says, I think the best part is that the famous video is not the incident that killed him, it was a different incident. And I feel like the use of the word best is very subjective in this case. The best part is that he fucking died. <laughs> if you guys don't know about Mr. Hands, why would you want to? Who are you kidding? You're on this video. You want to know. Uh, we got a whole Wikipedia page apparently right here. No, not. Oh yeah, it is Wikipedia. 
They got on Wikipedia, goddamn. The way they said wiki, it, it sounded kind of like like the fandom Wikipedia pages where they have like Harry Potter wikis, Percy Jackson wikis, whatever. I thought there was like a whole group of dedicated fans who made their ent entire fandom wiki page for the fucking Mr. Hands dude. It was about a guy, Kenneth Pinion, uh, who apparently had a very respectable job, an engineer who worked for Boeing, and he uh, apparently died from taking horse wee-wee, which uh, I can say wee-wee, but... Uh, I don't know if you've seen horses' penises. They're enormous. Case got eventually known as the Enum Claw horse sex case, which is kind of uncreative considering the whole nature of the aspect. I was hoping it'd be called something like Mr. Hands dies from rearrangement of internal glands. And to sum it up, he got fucked, died in the hospital, and while investigating, cops uncovered an entire fucking bestiality ring, unfortunately not ran by Michael Vick. That was like the town's best kept secret. The place was like a fucking... Neighbor, <laughs> Neighborland Ranch. Congratulations. I'll give you that one. And now get the fuck out of here. And then we also have a mention of the Pain Olympics, which, uh, I'd like to get into it in another video, probably. Next up, any symptoms you have, trying to figure out what's wrong with you through Google is the quickest way to freak yourself out. If you are suffering from big feet, little feet, itchy armpits, teary eyes, drippy nose, drooly mouth, or hairy chin, you have the coronavirus. Especially symptoms of mental illness. I've convinced myself before that I have autism and schizophrenia from reading shit online, when in reality I'm just an ancient, anxious person. Hey Google, I didn't really want to talk to anyone today. Maybe I have mild anxiety? Or, maybe, have you considered that you could just be retarded? Okay, here's a very comprehensive list of a lot of different, not links, but things to Google. I'm gonna blur it for perhaps exactly one millisecond. If you're really dedicated and you want to and you're fucked up like that, you can go right ahead and Google it. If not, just fucking let the video play. Actually, I might come back to this at some point. Ready? Three. Fuck. Ready? Three, two, one. Okay, that's it. Here we go. Moving on. Injuries involving degloving. Now, those are very interesting and also very brutal. Especially, I mean, considering... Skinning is one of the most painful things that can happen to you. I mean, think about getting a paper cut. That's horrible. Think about all those skin nerves that are exposed to the air. Now think about the entire skin coming off. Now you've got this huge area exposed to the air. It must hurt like a motherfucker. Apparently Jimmy Fallon had a degloving injury a few years back. That's not good. I wonder how he announced it to people. He was probably like, guys, I... <laughs> I just detached the finger. I just detached the skin from my finger. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, though, I hope he was okay from that. Fortunately for him, you don't need your fingers to be not funny on television. Here we go, Google Images. Uh, fuck it, here we go. Blurring time. Oh, okay, wow. Okay, Jesus Christ. That is someone's degloved penis. Oh my God. That is a whole ass penis with no skin. Jesus, and I thought circumcision was bad. That's on a whole nother level. Yeah, a whole lot of whole lot of not good on this page. Here, as a word of advice, for anyone who wants to be like a doctor, an emergency room doctor, or something like that out there, look up degloving. If you're not sick after that, if you can still functionally go through all the Google images and be fine, like mentally, then go for being a doctor. If not, maybe emergency room doctorhood is not for you. Then we have Fournier gangrene. Is, is it Fournier gangrene or is it, or is it, is it more fancy? Is it Fournier gangrene? Let's look it up on Google Images and see whether it should be all French and fancy or not. Oh man. Yeah, nope. We're, we're just going with straight Fournier gangrene. Nothing fancy about this. It's essentially like the degloved dick that I just saw on the other page, but it's like a whole lot of those and a whole lot worse. It's like, there's like bacteria eating away at your pee pee. But apparently this happens to older diabetic truck drivers a lot. So I would assume uh, there's at least some part of it that involves sitting down a lot. As I say, as I'm fucking sitting down. You know, maybe I'll stand up for a little bit. But yeah, I mean, people in the comments are like, how do you let it get to that point before you go to the ER? And I'm thinking the same thing. Like, do these truck drivers look down at their blackened, decaying penises and they'll be, they'll be like, hell yeah, my penis is turning black. Hey, maybe I'll gain a couple inches too. And then they realize, oh no, it's actually shrinking because the flesh on the ends of it are decaying and being eaten away. So yeah, again, not good. All right, you know what? Let's make this the last one, okay? So this guy does web security. And one thing an engineering class I had to search up one day was things longer than six inches. 
It would have been hilarious if this was like an April Fool's Day prank, and then when they searched this up, the only thing that showed up on the Google page was not your penis. You also had to block plenty of sexual terms for the horny-ass middle school kids, especially the classic, penis, dick, cock, penis, pff. Those are words for the ragamuffins of the olden days. Real gentlemen offer up their penis. Basic ass guys be like, I sent you my dick, please respond. Me, an intellectual, I've blessed you, lady, with a photograph of my penis. Pretty please express your on desire immediately. How to sex? Yeah, it's okay, dude. I Google useless things that I'm never gonna use in real life all the time, too. Okay, I think we're gonna end it there today. You know what? That was somewhat enjoyable. Right, Mr. Fournier Gangrene? Are we calling it Fournier? No, we're calling it Fournier. If you have sex with guys that are hornier, you might find out that their penis is at Fournier. This gets 5 billion likes, I'll do another one. Alright, so let's despacito the fuck out of this. Subscribe for more things no one asked for. As always, thank you for watching. Connor Hagerman out.